We are here with critically acclaimed director, documentary and film director, Paolo Villaluna, and multi-awarded actress, Meryl Soriano, to talk about their film, Pauwina. First film in seven years. What happened? I had to work. Of uh, course, when you do a film, we know that it's not really profit-oriented. Uh, I got an invitation to do advertising, and I was going to be in advertising for just a year to just earn money, save up, and then next thing you know, it's seven years later. So, yeah. Why did you stay that long? <laughs> well, one, advertising has its own set of challenges for a filmmaker. Na 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 maganda din. Imagine yeah. being able to tell a story in 30 seconds. So, I mean, and 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 I'll be honest, the you know, bread and butter. <laughs> suddenly, I mean, not suddenly mayaman, but suddenly you have to pay for college ng mga anak mo. Ay, ng mga anak mo, ng mga oh, ano, college ng mga <laughs> anak ng mga kapatid mo. I mean, mga stuff like that. So, you have to provide na for the family. So, yan. Okay, so bakit importante mo na magkapelikula kung ganun? Well, first and foremost, filmmaker talaga ako. And I've always been... I've always looked at cinema as some sort of self-expression. And I always use all my films for self-expression. Uh, when I did my first three films during my 20s, I thought it was enough. And then, after seven years in advertising, you're going to get to the sa of your mind. Wait, you need to tell a story. It's like you need to tell a story again that you want to get out. So yun, I, I had the opportunity to, to make the film. So. Okay. Tell me about the film, Pauwina. Originally, it's the, uh, no, diba? it's, uh, it's an excerpt from... Uh, yes, it's, oh, it, uh, it's, ba uh, yeah. it's based on some articles in Inquirer. Mm -hmm. Sikat nun si Jose Pidal, yung asawa ni Arroyo. Inquirer found a character na pangalan niya Jose Pidal talaga. And he's a pedicab driver. They're so poor, they wanted to go back to the province. Pero wala sila pamasahe, so nag-pedicab lang sila. Mm. So I was inspired by that story. So Manila going to where? Manila going to the province. It's as far off. Uh, as far sa southern Leyte, dun sa original okay. uh, material. But in my film, uh, unnamed ang province. Para siyang paradise, para siyang utopia. Okay. It's an imagined, imagined paradise of the family. So practically, Pauwina is about a family. They're so poor in Manila. They could not survive anymore, they decided to go back to their paradise. Yeah. Pero wala silang means to go to paradise. So they decided na mag-pedicab lang. And uh, when I read the script, sabi ko lang, I cannot not tell this story. Uh, it's a story about uh, family and uh, Filipino family, uh, to be exact. Uh, actually, kailangan ko rin kasi yung film eh. When I read it, sabi ko, it's, it's about faith, it's about you know, where you are at your life. So, mm -hmm. sabi ko, oh my God. Kailangan mo yung film. Oh, what yeah. does that mean? Self-expression. With him, as a, self, as a director, as a filmmaker, as, a self as an actor, ganon din. So, sometimes we are guided by the projects that we do. And sometimes, di ba, we... Ah, hindi to for me right now. Kasi hindi ko na pinaniniwalaan to eh. And it just really came in the right time for me. So, it's a story about family. It's a story about struggles. It's a story about hardships. It's a story about being uh, hopeful and nandun na ako sa buhay ko ngayon, so. Bago natin pasukin yung very interesting character ni Meryl, ano muna yung konteksto ng mga character dun sa pelikula, yung pamilya? Okay, the, the family members are, one, we have an ailing guy, the father. He actually has, uh, may sakit siya na tinatago niya from the family. Okay. Meron siyang asawa, si Aling Remedios, na isang labandera dito sa squatters area. Meron silang anak na ang pangalan na si JP na isang magdanakaw. Si JP may kapatid na si Pina, uh, siya naman ay cigarette vendor. Si JP, yung magdanakaw, meron siyang 
asawa na buntis na bulag si Isabel played, uh, played by Meme. Okay. Yon. So that uh, family members yon and uh, si Isabel yung buntis sa bulag meron siyang kaibigan friend. that appears in the film all throughout. A hallucination, a friend. His friend, uh, her friend is Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. How did you end up being the blind, pregnant, hallucinatory woman seeing Jesus Christ? <gasps> I don't know. I just got a, I just got a call from my, from my agent and I said, I have a script for you and it's Paolo. Of course, I was excited because it's Paolo. And then I've never worked with him, but I have known him for a very long, for, for a very long time. So I said, okay, I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it now. And then, you know, after that, I said, okay, like I said earlier, I kind of really needed this film as well. So... And I was so excited to work with him because, you know, seven years ago, that was a long time. So, I didn't even know. Because it's Paolo. Was she your first choice? Okay, uh, the casting of the film, uh, I'll be candid, it went through several, because it's seven years na siya in the making. It uh, went to studios, uh, Viva, Star Cinema. So they had their own casting ideas for for the the family, because it's an ensemble. Uh, I'll be candid. At one point, uh, for Star Cinema, it was Bay Alonso. For Viva, I was offered V uh, Sam Pinto and Eigenman Andy. Ayon. So of course, those are uh, kumbaga mga celebrities. I am not. Are you saying Meryl is not a celebrity? No, no, no. Meryl kasi is more than a celebrity. Thank you. I needed, well, for then. the film, I needed, <laughs> I needed actors. Mm -hmm. I needed people who will make the characters alive and not just play the characters. Alright. Uh, that's why I always say na I felt like it was destiny na ngayon siya ginawa. Because naghintay yung, yung panahon ng right cast. Na, because even though it was a journey film, yung journey namin sa shoot grave as in daging pamilya yung yung okay. yung actors I'm told you had a dream come true nung sino shoot yung pelikula true regardless of how hard it was there was a perfect moment for you as I live in uh, Commonwealth area so Commonwealth you know I drive every day and then I always say bakit kailangan tumawid ng mga tao dito meron naman di ba na tawiran and you know I cannot understand why sabi ko gusto ko naring tumawid yan so this, I was able to do that. At mayroon pa akong escort ng mga police. I feel so special and blind and pregnant. Context, ang Commonwealth is one of the most dangerous course, streets really in the world. Kung may isang palya lang doon, I could have lost an actor and I, and I could or have... Or a police person. <laughs> or a... Alam mo yun, so medyo... I'm very happy that you completed yeah. it safely. And the uh, dream came true. Congratulations. <laughs> But you're playing a blind, pregnant woman who is hallucinatory, wandering around uh, the worst areas of Metro Manila. Yes. Tell me about that. By far, this is my most challenging role. So, um, I, I think, I know, I know what Paolo is trying to do with this one. And, you know, he kailangan daw naive and all that. And of course, naive ka, bulit ka eh. Diba? And you're not really, wala hang visuals on what this, World, you know, is. world mm. is and I think that's the, the most challenging for me because there are some scenes where I have my friend Jesus Christ that I can see you know and uh, <laughs> I really don't have I'm not supposed to have an idea on how Jesus Christ looks like or you know other things so in cancellation of you know the visuals of everything while I'm seeing Jesus Christ is the most difficult for me and also it was very challenging our locations you the hat we did that and I'm in together along with the crew production and staff and the cast talagang butin nga may mga breaks tayo a couple of days ng konti. Mm. yeah because you know and then uh, we were because when we were discussing the character ni ni Meme uh, of course uh, ang director actor relationship very crucial it's collaborative eh. parang i cannot ask my actors to just be puppets and you know act it out they have to feel it, they have to create the right environment okay. for them to, to, to work around it. But it was difficult because in the Pinoy context, blind blind characterizations, either may shades or yung uh, zombie bulag. Okay. Alam mo yun? 
so we had to study it and 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 then uh, study how how blind people really do it. Okay. And, uh, several points in the film, si Meryl in her sa kanyang initiative. In fact, before the film, three days ka nag-blindfold sa bahay nyo, di ba? Yeah, well, uh, every two hours. Parang yeah. she wanted to experience how it is to be blind talaga. And then on the set, dahil nga ilang taon na siya dun sa squatter's area, syempre familiar na siya sa space. So several points in the film, before the, the shooting, kailangan niya naka-blindfold siya, get herself familiar with the space, and then really be blind. So, and then when... Sabi ko, gano ba kahirap to? I tried it out. Mother fuck. I'm telling you, man, it's it's hard to pretend you're blind pero nakabukas mata mo. Bakit important importante na bulag siya or nabuntis siya? Uh, we're as how do I say this? Ang intellectual pa no? but we're all affected kasi by what we see. I mean, our our core values, I mean, even in terms of of our influences. And someone who's blind will have to resort to her own personal faith and belief na kung ano yung nakikita ng iba, I will take it as truth na lang. So, uh, in a pretentious way, parang Isabel was the metaphor for blind faith. Alright. Yeah. Parang she was really blind and, you know, it underscores uh, one core value ng pagiging Pinoy. Blind faith tayo. We're Catholic, we believe in our leaders, we, um, you know. Are you making this a commentary on the blindness or are you saying this is a good thing? Being blind? Blind faith. I'm not critical of the process, I'm critical of the instant blind faith. Lang. Speaking of blind faith, this is a film you believed in for a very long time. Uh, Ten years? Something yeah. like that? Mm -hmm. About a decade? Yeah. Uh, went through a number of studios. In this particular case, you chose to go with a movie. Even if I'm told funding was not enough. Can you tell me about this festival and how you funded it? Okay, uh, Pauwi na kasi has been funded. It was given a seed grant by To Farm Film Festival. Uh, we actually have a seed grant of 1.5 M. Uh, to Farm Film Festival is, a, is an upstart film festival. Sorry, sobrang daming film festival ngayon in the country. You have Cinemalaya, Cinema One, Cine Cinema, Cine Manila. You have Cine Filipino. Filipino, and then you have to farm film festival, which again is a good thing because uh, mga filmmakers are beginning to make sure. films. But At I'm the same time, it's also farm. bad because okay, I won't say why it's bad, but you know, uh, <laughs> you know. Th there's an oversaturation of of of, of uh, films, films na walang filter ko ano masama at saka maganda parang automatically sa generation any indie film is automatically good when dapat hindi alam mo yun you have a particular film who na naging hit mm. suddenly indie shot maganda alam mo yun is uh, that a bad thing ah uh, it's not a bad thing but it's uh, a pros and cons eh. it's a good okay. thing uh, it exposes the generation to other to new voices mm -hmm. ang problema Kung gagawa ka ng pelikula at gagayahin mo lang ang mainstream cinema na mas maliit ang budget, you're really just falling into the profit-oriented industry type of making cinema. Or it, they, it the becomes... The people who go into films actually think they're going in to earn. Uh, Do they? Do they? Did you? Of course not. Ako, hindi. But uh, not. it becomes a jump off point to be a mainstream director. Okay. Of Alam mo yun, parang... Is that your intention? No, that's why I work in advertising. <laughs> because bread and butter on TV. Sorry, advertising world. No, I, I, you know, but again, advertising has its own set of challenges, its own set of parameters for you creativity. Said that earlier. You're fine. You're fine. Okay. So you're mostly saying that mainstream should stay mainstream, independent should stand up for itself and not try to be mainstream. Again, it's yes. not. It's not dictatorial. My my main issue. Were is, you not? <laughs> My main issue is, uh, one, uh, most independent films right now are really just uh, mainstream narrative films, na lower budget. Films are expensive, so... Again, uh, that's why the 1.5 seed grant was not realistic for any good film. In a context of third world country, it's a very good budget. Yes. Uh, pero ang pelikula yung magre-rent ka ng camera, magbabayad ka ng mga TF sa mga tao. How much did the entire film cost? About? The whole film was uh, around 3M. So you had to come up with another 1.5. Where did that come from? Utang. Hey, congrats. So mm -hmm. blind faith talaga. Yes, blind faith siya. <laughs> How do you feel your film 
impacts the context of Philippine cinema as you describe it? It's not something I want, ah. Para lang, ano, hindi naman high and mighty yung... You mean masayan, eh? Oo. <laughs> I mean, uh, in the context of the film, I really just wanted to, to tell the story of this family. Uh, I, I think uh, it's something that has been brewing in my heart for the past 10 years, and it's just something I really wanted to say. Whether it affects uh, uh, culture or hindi, it's not an objective. It's, uh, I just really wanted to tell that story. Okay. And I think that's the best answer he can ever give, mm -hmm. or any filmmaker can give. But because for me, as an actor or as a storyteller, uh, yun din ang tiling ng koy. Story is key. Doesn't really matter kung ano pa mga effects effects mo jo. But if you have a good story to tell, then you are on the right track. Are you excited for the film showing? Fuck yeah! Oh my god, uh -huh. I can't see that. Uh, because I don't know how people will react. It, it's it's it's. We, it's a weird concoction of a film. This is the To Farm Film Festival. Where's the farm in your film? The farm is imaginary. <laughs> and you chose this film festival because? Because they have 1.5 M seed grant to give. Was there a farm to begin with in your film? Or did oh, yeah. the farm appear in the imagined film? No, uh, the, the film naman to begin with, papunta sa lang probinsya. So paradise there, talaga. There, there is oh. a farm. Oh. Okay. But they are not farmers. So it's not about agriculture. It's about humanity. It's about the human spirit. It's about family. It's about faith. It's about that. Before, ano lang pala, I just want to thank the whole cast. Uh, as in, I'm so proud kasi of the cast. Bembol Rocco, Cherry Pie Picachi, Meryl Soriano, Gerald Napoles, Jess Mendoza, Chai Fonacher. Uh, I could not imagine the film ngayon without them. Uh, naging pamilya kami do while doing the film. And I remember when the first time Bembo said yes, I literally fell off my chair because hindi ako naniniwala. Eh. I really thought, why would Bembo say yes? I, I, as far as I know, I'm sure hindi niya ako kilala, hindi niya alam reputasyon ko. Oh, but the story is key. So, nung nag-usap kami, naano talaga siya sa script. Gusto ko lang rin, ang weird, para tong boyabo na. Gusto ko lang magpasalamat. Hindi. <laughs> special, ano, special, special mention to the producer of the farm, si Doktora Milagros Hao. Uh, wala siyang kaalam-alam sa cinema, pero in love siya sa cinema kasi. Okay. And, uh, of course, in love she's advocacy of farming. So, special kudos to her for, for one, supporting independent cinema, and uh, two, for, uh, for really having this idea of having a film festival na, na geared towards farming and agriculture, despite the fact that my film has no farming or agriculture in the film. Did you tell her that? Or is she about to find out? She's about to find out, and she's about to find out that it philosophically underlines all her ideas. Are you sure he never did this I'm tired of that. <laughs> Good luck. Ganda mo hira. Princess.